Hello. Welcome. Hi. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Wow, now you're very punctual. Yeah, you were yeah. punctual. Yeah. <laughs> very good. Excellent. And well, we'll continue today with the session four, and probably if we are able, we will finish uh, today the session four or continuing the session five. All right. I'm sorry about Lorena's. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> I, I, call, I called to, to my engineer computer and he told me that I had to send him a, a video about what is happening because he don't know why my camera is doing that or if it is the computer, the problem. I hope it's just um, something related to software and it's not something like hardware, hopefully. Maybe. Yes. Uh, well, and I hope that is fixed very soon. Hey Anna, how are you? Long, long time <laughs> no. I had not no. seen you. Are you okay or you are sick? Uh, it's, I'm sick, teacher. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, but it's nice to see you. It's been a long time that you had <laughs> not turned the camera on. All right. And well, welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let me see if this always log me off so i'm going to start one more time give me a moment please any question guys everything is okay right yeah i, I have a question for oh, you tell me so i wonder are we are we having class this next friday or not no oh. <laughs> no it's good to know it's good to know thanks good to know right <laughs> Uh, but remember, guys, we were supposed, I also remind you that we were supposed to finish the last uh, session class on 28th, 28th. Yeah. but you know that, you know, we want we to finish on March next? 1st, March the 1st, exactly. Yeah. It's uh, because of, of the recordings that um, Insafor needs to, to have the full um episodes or the full uh sessions so we need to have the 20 sessions uh complete and since there was one class that was not recorded completely that is why we're going to have an extra class in that case we are going to do like a most likely we will do a kind of review or something if um we can play we if we move. we can play <laughs> exactly we can do different <laughs> activities since uh we're basically are, are done with the session eight session eight session four <laughs> so and we're almost about to start a session five so that but we will have plenty of time all right anyways let me see if mm -mm -mm. I'm trying to access to the to the platform. But it logged me off. I couldn't I couldn't uh, log in this this afternoon again. Sometimes it takes a while. I know it's it takes a couple of minutes to load. And guys, you haven't reported anything that you had the inconvenience last night. Well, or this weekend, you said that you were having some issues with the platform and you didn't report it. Yeah. All right. So I would like you to report it in the WhatsApp group so the uh, the people uh, in charge can, can fix those inconvenience. All right. So we are now in, in the session. We already finished this. Oh no, this is not the one. One moment, please, guys. I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting, okay? And <laughs> ah, kind of kind of slow. Okay. Um any other question? Hello, Lisette. Nice to see you again. I'm um, sorry to hear you have lost your 
proud mom. I understand it was very, very hard situation, but thank you for being on time and uh, connected today, okay? Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. Yeah. Um, yes, which sort of too. Yes. Okay. Well, in the meantime, since Lisette wasn't here and Anna wasn't here last night, uh, let's remind them what we were talking about uh, um, regarding the relative clauses, guys. What can you remember? What can you tell them? Just to do like a quick refresh. Mm -hmm. We Wait, were doing... When, uh -huh. when we talk about non-defining -def relative clauses, is when we defining relative clauses is when we can uh, take out some part of the sentence and the mm -hmm. sentence continue having a good sense, no? And uh, like uh, my mom, the one who is um, uh, wearing a black dress, uh, has um, has uh, has made a, a cake. I can take out the one who's ha who's wearing a, a black dress because it is in, important to know what that she is okay. using that that dress. That and is correct, the other one, yeah. and uh -huh. you have to do you have to? It is necessary to to give more information to the non-defining. The non-defining. Oh, the defining. oh, you were saying the non-defining. Actually, it's the one that we can omit certain information, right? Yeah. And yeah. it's because it's not really necessary, and the the sentence still has meaning. Now we are talking about the other that is the uh, the relative uh, defining relative clause. Okay. Yeah. Continue, please. Defining. This is the one that you're saying. Yeah. Huh? The, when the when defining relative clause. In that in that case, we need to specify more information about the person or the animal or the book or the whatever we're talking about, because it it, it makes we we are more connected with the with the sentence. It's like uh, the the sentence that we can see and right there, the bedroom which is upstairs needs to be record redecorated. We need to know which which bedroom could be which the bedroom? one the one that is next to my 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 uh, door or the one that is next to the ma the bath or the ones could be another one then i need to to specify which one is the one that it's having some change Excellent. Thank you, Lorena. Applause for Lorena. She's a very good teacher. You are your teacher, right, Lorena? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. Basically, that is what we were talking about yesterday. Okay. The relative or defining relative clauses that gives the one that gives extra information because it's in this case necessary. But if it's non defining, the meaning it's still the same we just add extra information that is not really important so it can be omitted and it still has the same meaning thank you good job let's see if the panel yeah finally opened so that is good and um we did this already and by the end of the lessons, participants will learn and understand the defining and non-defining relative clause. We already did this as, as well. I already explained to you, uh, normally you can identify the relative clauses uh, when they are in commas, right? They are basically separated, uh, separated by commas. And in this case, you already watched the video. Let me just do something quickly. I'm going to connect my computer to the internet source. All right. There, there is the explanation, so you can take a look on this later on or if you have done it already there you have tried the defining relative classes are used to identify people and non-defining 
it's to just give further information. Basically, that's what we were talking about. And we already, fin oh, we already did this one, this one, right? No? No, we haven't. All right. So the non defining, we didn't do this part. Okay. So we're going to, to finish this one today. Can you help me read um, anyone? Read instructions for me, please. Me, teacher. Sure, Angel. Okay. Closing party thing. The instructions. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. Instruction. Instruction. Read the following sentence. Add the noun defining relative clause. Defining relative clauses is plural clauses. Relative clauses in parties to the sentence. Parenthesis. 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 Parenthesis to the sentence. Sentence. Okay. Remember to use comma for the noun, the nine relative clauses, and the a period at the end. All right. Here we need to use the period since the instruction is clear, right? If we don't use a period, sometimes it's going to be um, it's going to be wrong. Even though it is correct, you need to add commas and also a period. According to the instructions. Teacher, All right. Hello, I Alberto. A, I have a question. Yes. Yeah, I have a question. I mean, I was thinking about uh, this word parenthesis, and I was wondering if, you, if it's possible to um, do a review for the, all the sounds, English sounds that is not so familiar in Spanish. For example, sure. this, uh, mm -hmm. for me, it's really hard to reproduce it because it's a safe part. <laughs> The, the, you're talking the, about the word or the pronunciation i mean the phonetic system i mean the um, for example the a the, ipa i mean the international phonetic alphabet this is okay. just a guideline to 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 mm -hmm. pronounce this 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 word because we're i mean as a native speak, spanish native speaker we don't have that sound in our Correct. language so i mean it's really hard to to reproduce it just okay. Anna, I mean, I'm, I'm very good definitely and i understand as i mentioned before there are some of you who have a very very good english but some pronunciations that you need to polish will be uh will increase your potential of speaking english as well and yes some pronunciation it is necessary for you to polish and of course we can do a quick review about it let's just finish this Okay, and um, I, please remind me, um, maybe at the end of the class, of course, we will have time. As I mentioned, we have plenty of time. If you have extra uh, topics that you would like to add, we can review them next week since we will finish this session five very soon. Uh, I mean, you're watching the videos at home. You're doing uh, everything by yourself. We just do like a quick review and just answer the questions since sometimes we have some doubt okay so and that is why uh, you can bring up some topics that we can review if you have so, uh, some things or some doubts regarding something something else and of course the phonetic uh sounds the phonetics uh i will prepare a class for you uh for you albert and for everyone of course all right i will prepare a class uh, but if we have time, I will just do like a short intro, um, introduction today, and I'm going to prepare a class especially for phonetics, uh, the phonetics pronunciation, okay? Not a problem. Thank you for your, um, yeah, the advice and the suggestion, okay? Thank you. Okay, now coming back to the, to the topic for today, we are going to add the are you sure we didn't do this one, guys? No, right? No, we didn't. Okay, so can someone read the number one and tell me what will be the... Basically, we have it here in parentheses. Okay, we just need to add the comma, where to identify where the comma should be. Okay, that's it. So let's see, a foreign correspondent travels all around the world. Okay, what would be the non-defining clause? 
So this is not, basically we're talking about just non-defining. That means that rights about events in the countries, that should be a relative that can be removed or can be added and it doesn't change the, the meaning of the sentence. So can somebody tell me how to form the, the complete sentence, guys? Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we okay. just have to, to, to put the, the, the information that is in the parenthesis before the verb travels, a foreign correspondent who writes about events in our mm -hmm. countries, travels all over the world. Okay, yeah, so in this case, guys, we need to write every little thing here, right? everything here all right let's copy and paste this oh the the word uh the answer is already here so we just copy and paste in number one okay that's it now uh what would be the second thank you lorena what about the rest hello kevin can you help me identify the non-defining clause and how to add it Hello, teacher. Hello. Uh, a web page designer needs uh, who is a graphic designer. Artist. Designer. A web page designer needs. Web page. Page. Okay. Who is a graphic artist? Uh, sophisticated computer. Uh, la última palabra, no sé cómo pronuncia, teacher. Knowledge, computer, computer knowledge, knowledge, computer knowledge, sophistic. How do you pronounce? Read it, read it one more time for me. Uh, web page designer news. Who designer, is a, a web page designer? Okay, a web page designer. Way, no, way is otra cosa. Web page. A web page designer. Page. Page. Designer needs who is a graphic artist, sophisticated computer. Entonces sería así. Needs who is an a graphic a, gra a graphic artist. Are you sure? For me, for me. <laughs> All right. So we will have uh here commas, right? A web designer needs comma yes. who is a graphic artist comma sophisticated computer knowledge is that what you say mm, what about the rest yeah kevin actually that is the, the 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 structure needs to be in the middle but the web page designer okay needs sophisticated computer we need to identify first the subject y podríamos decir el sujeto y el predicado verdad a web page designer, sujeto, ¿qué? Verbo, eso ya sería un predicado. Entonces sería primero, para mí, para mi opinión, sería a web page designer, coma, ¿ok? Who is a okay. graphic artist. Who is, este, el diseñador de, de, de páginas web, coma, que es un artista gráfico, coma, necesita conocimiento sofisticado de computadoras, ¿ok? Como okay. usted me decía, diría, a web page designer needs, un, pa, un diseñador gráfico o de página web necesita quien es mm. algo de, ah, no, ¿verdad? Tendría que ser después del sujeto. Estamos da, identificando o dando información extra de la persona que estamos hablando, ¿ok? Eh, okay a graphic you. artist needs sophisticated knowledge. And let's leave the, the period there. All right. Thank you, guys. Now, I think you don't have to put the, the period. No, it is not necessary. At the beginning, I remember that it says that. To use commas from the end period at the end. Ah, okay. okay. Uh huh. So most likely we need a period. Okay. Yeah. 
So this is the second. Next, number three, guys. Anyone help me? <clears throat> Space here, number three. Anyone? Vaya, es un tema bien fácil, pero no, no todos participan. Eso me dice como que, y porque tienen miedo, que okay, what is going on, guys? Um, me? me, teacher. I want to participate. Thank you. Go. An, edit, an editorial page editor, coma, who is a daily newspaper columnist, coma, gives opinions about current issues. All right. Thank you. So let's copy this. And uh, an, an editorial page editor, comma, right? Here is the first comma. And yes. then we add the, the, um, the close in parentheses. Guys, a close is actually a sentence, remember, all right? Close is a sentence. And then, what are we talking about the, the page editor? Oh, gives opinion about current issues, okay? Period. Number four, all right, somebody else? Oh, no, this is not open, sorry. Uh-huh, the number four. Read. Teacher. Okay, Angela. Our Russian economists who get to go to Fabulous first, he write about celebrities and scandals. Okay, so we we start with a gossip column, oh, columnist. Oh, oh. Uh, uh, that's it. Yeah, a Russian columnist. Home. Coma. Uh -huh. Who gets to go? Mm -hmm. Good job. To fabulous Who Paris? gets to go to yes. fabulous Paris? Paris. To fabulous no. Paris. Mm -hmm. All right. And then yes. we finish with that. Who gets to go to fabulous Paris? Who gets, yeah. Coma. Coma. Uh, right. About celebrities and celebrities, scandals. celebrities and scandals. scandals, scandals. All right. Scandals. Thank you. Let's see, guys. If we have everything correct, we are going to have the uh, complete points. Mm, let's see. I have. I. I have been. I have been having that problem every day, <laughs> all the afternoon yesterday, and today I couldn't work again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I I started uh, having this issue last night. If you say aceptar, everything is is. I know. I lose. have. Uh -huh. I start all over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. That's... Let's do it again. Let's say if it's a cancel. Yeah, and unfortunately, guys. Uh, yeah, we have to start a lover, but you already know the answer. So if you already know how to write the correct, the correct exercise. Yeah, I know it happened to me, but after this, uh, probably the, the answers will be, will be accepted. Let's try just one more time really quick. And if it's... Mm, here we just copy the um, that's it we just copy this mm -hmm. hello i think it's necessary to put i um, mean this is the length of the text box it's really i mean it's so small it's necessary to be large i mean longer yeah large as a larger. web designer <laughs> yeah, larger. yeah yes, i understand web... thank you 
Yeah, I understand. Yeah, you can you see you it can... in a smaller page, right? When we are yeah, presenting. That's right. mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. Uh, here, comma. Who is a graphic I... artist? Comma. Need sophisticated computer exactly. knowledge. Knowledge. Okay. An editorial page editor, comma. Who is a daily newspaper? Who is a daily newspaper columnist? Comma. Okay. Gives opinion about current issues. Mm -hmm. And number four, a uh, gossip columnist who gets Puma, Puma writes about his celebrities and scandals. Let's see. Oh, what? <laughs> Just one. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What could be the inconvenient? Maybe uh, an space. A uh, graphic artist okay. needs sophisticated computer knowledge. No period here. Let's check. Look, period is important, all right? It's very important, the period. All right, here, I guess it will be good. Gives opinions about current issues. What is the mistake here? Mm -mm, mm -mm. The space. Mo yeah. uh, two, there are yeah. two spaces, right? Thank yeah. you, guys. Very what good. It, and comma. a gossip who gets to fabulous Paris. Ah. It's coma, no, no. Coma, yeah. Rights. Let's see. There you go. Okay, guys, remember, commas, all right, and periods is necessary, okay? And check that there is not space at all, okay? You know, now you have the answers. Let me just send them for you. You have the number one already. Copy and paste, guys, so you don't have this inconvenient later on, okay? Number two, it has to be exactly like this, okay? Number three. Number four. Okay, copy and, and remember to save these uh, answers because for one period that is missing, you will have, uh, you will not have the correct, uh, the correct answer. So, continuing. Oh, we already read about plagiarism. All right. What was plagiarism, guys? Plagiar, plagiarism. Sorry. What is that? You, do you remember? Plagio. Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> in <laughs> English, <laughs> guys. In <laughs> English, translation in Spanish is for, is easier than than giving the explanation uh, in English. 
Give me a synonym or the definition in English. What was what is plagiarism? Uh huh. We already read about this. So tell me, what do you remember? Or what do you think about plagiarism, guys? Haven't you heard some songs that they are basically a copy from the from the original from the original song? Plagiarism is the term of an idea theft. Ah. Shakira, for instance. For example, which one? Alberto. Shakira. <laughs> waka waka. Oh, R it was supposed to be so, from an uh, from a uh, South South African group, right? I heard about yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So it, it's basically something that is um it ha it should be punished, right? It it must be uh yeah punished by by law okay and so we're done with the session four you see it's super easy the the session four was super short so we will see until when we have five point five point ten It's very short. So, recommendations and opinions, guys. What do we use uh, to give recommendations and opinions? If you already started with the session five, can you tell me something? How can we, um, how do we recommend something or give opinion about something? What do we use? For give opinions, we, we use how to or should. Exactly. For, and when it is something more important, you will have to use have got have or got to and must. Have or have got to. Uh, what is the difference just between have got or just have? It is the same thing. Okay. There is no difference between the meaning. What is the only difference, guys? If you know. Have to is only used in United States and have Correct. got to is in, in England, right? In, yeah, British English use, uses have got instead of just have, all right? Yes. So that's basically the difference. But the meaning is the exact thing, the same thing. All right. So giving recommendations and opinions. It's, you need to watch the video, guys. Watch the video. So, instruction, anyone can help me read instructions? You need to watch the video, guys. And I understand you already did. Me, teacher. Sure, Jonathan. Complete the, test, the sentence, positively or negatively. Use the verbs in parentheses along with a modal. No capital letters or periods are need, needed. Needed. Thank you. Now you corrected yourself. And what happened with the camera today, Jonathan? You're still working as, as, as usual. Okay. For example, guys, we have people. Uh-huh. It is the answer, Should, shouldn't be allowed or should not be allowed. In this case, we are using a model, uh, either should, shouldn't, or ought to, depending about the, the, the sentence, okay? So there we have the example. So what is the first, what is the first, the first answer, guys? Should not be allowed. But allowed. I don't get why I don't get why there are what is the same answer twice. It gives you the example and it gives you the answer in the first one. So I understand that it shouldn't be repeated. But 
I mean, if there is already an example there, it gives you like um, an answer, an answer already given, all right? And an answer corrected, all right? Second, number two. Help me, guys. Me, teacher. All right. Young people must not be permitted to get married before age 15. Mustn't. You can leave it with contractions or without contraction. So must not be per me. Double T or just one T, guys? Double T. Double T. Exactly. Very good. Must not be permitted to get married. All right. Do you remember, guys, when we pronounce the, or we, we add the double consonant? I remember that it's because there is a vowel between two consonants. But when do we add an extra consonant instead of just one? For example, travel. We just don't, we don't add double L, which is just traveled with one L. Do you remember why? I gave you the explanation one day, I guess it was, it was on Friday. Because the, the stress, the stress. You, you do in the second, the second syllable. If it's at the end, mm -hmm. we always double it. If it's at the beginning, the stress is at the beginning, we don't need to double it. For example, open, travel, all right? It's at the beginning, that is why. All right, good. Thank you, Lorena. You're you're ready to be an English teacher. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. All right, number three, guys, help me. Me, teacher. Sure. Uh, three. Company um company should be required to give work periodic break. To give workers period uh, periodic breaks, all right? Periodics um, periodic breaks. breaks should be required. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. And hey, number four. And what about if we change it for all two? This is the same. Huh. Let's try. Okay. All two. Okay. Let's try. All should and all two are the same. Okay. Just remember if it's affirmative, we use all two. If it's negative, we don't use all two. Okay. We only use what? Should. Should. Correct. Okay, number four. Claudia, I haven't heard from you today. Okay, what about number four? Okay, Jen. Uh, sure. people, people cannot to have pets in high rise apartments. Uh, sorry, people can cannot allow it to have pets in high rise apartments. Cannot allowed. Allowed. Mm -hmm. All right. Sure. Um, Cannot allowed or can be allowed. Cannot be allowed sería, no puede ser permitida. Pero ahorita estamos viendo solamente cuatro opciones. ¿Qué era? Should, should not. Should, mm. should not. Also. O to. Yes. Bueno, más, más yo, bueno, pero los modas solo serían en este caso should, ought to, que son los similares, y el otro que era para obligaciones, que era must. Ok. Y have to, ¿verdad? O have got to. Ok, entonces quitamos el cannot. 
¿Cuál le pondríamos entonces? Más, más not. Ok. Must not, ok. Must not. Be. Be, right? No debería ser permitida, vea. No debería serle permitida. All right. Uh, we will check, guys. And if there is any mistake, we are going to correct it. No problem. And the next one, number five. Any other? Any other students? Any other opinion? Um. Sí. Sí, ¿Cuál es la pronunciación de la número 5 de Scientist? Scientist. 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 Um, should not be permitted. 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 To use animals for research. For, for research. Okay. We will check later. Thank you. And guys, casi que no hemos ocupado el have to. No hemos ocupado ni uno en have to. Vamos a ocupar uno en have to. Vamos a ver, ¿a dónde podemos ponerlo? Where can we use have to? Ajá. Uh -huh. Maybe here. Maybe. Okay, what do you think in number six, guys? Send it to me in the chat. I just don't, I, I see that you're basically sleeping, guys. So please help me. Send it to me in the chat. All right, we have an answer here. Love must be possessed to bound. To must, must be or mustn't be? Must be. Okay, let's set. Pass to one the soul of hundred. Okay. I think this should be a pass up uh, in a positive way, right? Low uh, must no, it cannot be must because it has must be passed to ban. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry. Must be passed to ban the sale of handguns. What is the meaning of that sentence? Ban is to be pro prohibited, not oh, okay. to be permitted. Okay, okay. All right, to use guns. Yeah, mm -hmm. handguns. All right, so uh, if a law passes in the Senate or uh, in the um, in the Senate, for example, the Assembly here. It's when they, it is approved to pass a law, all right? That is what it means. So what do you think, guys? Must not be passed? Mm -hmm. hmm. Yo creo que es afirmativo como dice Lisette. Must be passed. The thing is that in the United States is inconstitutional to pro forbid guns. Because the, I don't know how to say this enmienda, the novena, I don't know, remember, but it's they all american had the right to use a uh, handgun i mean whatever this okay. is constitutional that uh, uh, a senator passed a law that forbid uh, that i mean because mm -hmm. here in our country it's right but right? it's correct okay but united states is constitutional that any american can use or can buy any gun whenever okay. they want it yeah we should okay buy one. And, but my 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 question is guys 
what do you think? I mean, if we're here in El Salvador and if we're talking about an opinion if, or if we are living in the, I mean, if we were living because obviously we're not there, but laws must be passed to ban the sales of handouts or must not in this case, uh, according to what Jesus says, what do you think? Must be, so must in your opinion, be. Albert? It should be negative. Here yeah, in El Salvador, I mean, our country, I mean, it's necessary to have a law to ban the sale of handgun. Uh, but we are in the perfect democracy with the exception regimen. I mean, it's no longer necessary. <laughs> Affirmative or negative? That is my question. Negative, negative, negative. Negative, teacher, for me. Must not be passed. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Good. And the sale of fur products. What is fur, guys? Don't say it in Spanish. No Spanish. I need your, your, it's your. The hair. It's like hair. <laughs> Something the like hair it. of animals, right? The hair, hair of the animals, yeah. of course. Thank you. So, what do you think? Should be. Should be. Should be. So if you are you agree that animals can be killed so we can use their fur? Mm. Teacher, think Creo about it. No, estamos cuidando los animalitos. Uh -huh. That sounds double standard because anytime you eat a hamburger, uh, you're eating chicken. <laughs> oh, pork or fish. Uh, think about it. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a two two faced, right? It's like we are two faced because we eat animals, but I mean the sales of fur products should be permitted for you or shouldn't be. I I believe that shouldn't be. I mean, I don't know. If what do you think? Raise your hand if you say that should be permitted. Okay, raise your hand. Uh, must not be permitted because must. I think it's Lorena it's agrees. Cruel. Así que sí se puede, se, se puede vender las pieles de los animales. Yeah. Okay. In your opinion, Lorena and solamente Lorena dice. And the rest should, ah, oh, y Ronald también, okay. So, and the rest, mm -hmm. ahora levanten la mano los que piensan que no debería. Say, raise your hand. No debería. Jonathan and Alberto, okay. Vaya, me ganan entonces la mayoría, guys. Sería shouldn't, should not be permitted. All right. Hey, that is a good discussion, right? Uh, talking about vegan people or vegetarian people. Okay, that is a good, that is a good topic. Okay, good. And the number eight. Aha, uh -huh. in this case, I need the answer of you, of all of you guys by chat, okay? I'm waiting for your answers in the chat. Go. Remember, we have not used have to, okay? But anyways, I think we can use both. But in this case, it is a no, it's a good option to employ have to, in my opinion. So how can we form that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, must be done. Let's use the other, have got to. Have got to. Cualquiera de los dos puede ser, either or. In my opinion, it could be any of them. Uh-huh, and the rest? Oh, I have only one answer, guys. What do you think? Have to don, Jonathan, come on. No. Should be done, maybe Angelica. 
Okay, we have a salad of answers here today. So it's it's a good idea to, to discuss this together, guys, because uh, there are plenty of options. Uh, there should be like two options, either have to or should, I'm sorry, either have to or must. In should, I'm not sure. Should should be done to stop gloves from staying up and too late. From staying up and too late. Could be should, yeah. Should not be done. Ahí sería algo tiene que, que hacerse para que los clubs cierren tan tarde, que no, que no estén abiertos tan tarde. That is what it means. Jonathan, me gusta, pero le hace falta algo. No solo have to done. Mire aquí, ¿qué le falta, guys? Usemos have to. Let's use have, have to. Be. to. Have, have to be done. Be done. Very good. Algo tiene que hacerse, right? <laughs> Something has to be done. All right, let's do the have. Pero hay un error ahí. There is a mistake. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to use some capital letter with H. Mm -hmm. Has to be done. Has, Angelica, has. you're talking about one thing. So we use has to be done, okay? Has to be done. Got it, guys? Is something is singular, so we always use the third person of, uh, rule. Let's see. Oh. Ta, 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 ta. oh my God! Que no me saque de nuevo. <laughs> yeah, guys, please report this. Okay, if it's happening to you, I mean, you need to report it. In my in Most my case, I, I, at least we are doing this together, so you know the answers. But yeah, it's kind of, mm, mm, you know, stressful, right? To to be like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going, to, I'm going to do a screenshot. Okay, give me a moment, guys. I'm going to take a screenshot for this. screenshot let me stop share because i'm going to open whatsapp so i you i don't want you to see my prohibent the uh, prohibent text messages <laughs> i mean i'm just kidding mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do I do this? It locked me off since I had my computer fixed up from the camera. Oh, here it is, link device. Guys, I'm I'm giving some puppy, some puppies. If you want, I will show you what, uh, how, some of them, okay? I have two little puppies that I'm going to show you, okay? Sorry, I know that this is not part of the class, but just, just FYI for you to know, okay? Look at them. Got it? Yeah. Yay. We're adopting two of them. They are girls. All right. Just in case somebody knows that they will take care of them, I would. Well, I am. I'm. I would like to. To have someone who takes care of them. Okay. 
Anyways, guys, uh, let's see. Let's do it again. Or what I'm going to do is to, to do it one more time, go to the... Uh, That's always to the beginning. Yeah. yeah, and it is, it is, it's starting here in the other page. So let me get in. Now, if I have this page open, the other one should be already done. So we just sent, we just sent the answers. Questions so far, guys? No mandé la pantalla, creo. I didn't send it. Um, mm, mm, mm. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What's up? Oh, here it is. I'm sending these to the... Okay. I just saved the image. So let's continue. Let me see. Still loading. Let's do it again here. Maybe. Well, in, in the meantime, Ms. Jesus, um, Alberto, sorry, Alberto. All right. Um, uh, regarding to the question you had, when to pronounce, for example, the th and how to pronounce the th, I will do a research because most of the time we, well, in my in my case, I just know the pronunciation, but I cannot tell, for example, when to say. Th or th. for example, I have always uh, wondered if there is someone who knows it would be great, but someone told me, okay, you know, maybe that um, those rules um, can be explained by a linguistic and many Americans who I talked to, they never know, they never knew how or why this pronunciation is like this. When, for example, is the or z, um, I'm sorry, with the the th sound has two sounds, all right. And this is is parenthesis, parenthesis, but pronunciation is like this, parenthesis, parenthesis. And I'm going to do a quick research about the. Let's see if it works right now. Ahora no me responde para nada. All right. And hmm. I will do a, a research. So I will identify when to say the or when to say z like this. Okay. Also, I also mentioned some, um, that some of you say, for example, the B instead of the V. All right. So that is another point uh, that you are. Um, that you need to polish because I hear you when you say B, 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 la Vilma, but it's Vilma in English. Of course, in Spanish, we don't have that big difference. I mean, we just say it like it is, right? But in English, the, the difference is really vast, all right? For example, we have the best. We have two words here. And I will continue tomorrow, guys. Please try to copy or try to do it by yourself. I will try to finish this exercise and trying to do like a screenshot as well. And uh, we will answer this tomorrow because you know, the platform is not helping me right now. So we have two words, for example. Everyone in meeting. Okay, we have the, the pronunciation of B and V, all right? Best, the best, you are the best student in my class or the best, which is like a, a piece of cloth, right? Un chalequito. So pronunciation makes a big difference when you are talking about B and V, all right? Very 
strawberry or very good. All right. So that is another pronunciation mm -hmm. that we need to be uh, focused on. See you tomorrow, guys. I hope that I, I have the answers corrected by to well later on. If not, uh, we will do it tomorrow. Okay. See you tomorrow, yes, guys. Good night. I have to bye, bye, good night. bye. Bye bye. Have a good evening. Good Please. Night. Bye. Give me the questions. Cualquier duda que tengan, anótenlas para que las saltemos al mañana. Bye bye.